this morning walk around and uh, we have some plumbing going in prior to that getting tiles over it is what he's after. I'll lead him to it. Since the west side has been uh, rendered, now they're putting up the strings to do the uh, depth bars for the east side. Well, it's time to go over and see what they're doing over there, but it's um, music's on, so I'll have to take small, short snippets to avoid copyright strike. The welding's not finished, apparently. We'll see you after lunch walk around. We have depth bars on the first three panels and the start of rendering of the uh, columns. I delayed my after lunch uh, walk around because uh, Jemida advised that uh, when I came around when people were sleeping, uh, we disturbed them and they thought they should be doing something because the boss was around. But uh, I thought I'd give them a rest. Uh, this morning, we ran cables for the uh, power points for the um, south side. At the moment, uh, Dadang's got cable in hand and he's run a wire from the uh, switch box here across and along and down to the end. So we just have to have three more drops along the way. Uh, yeah, so I guess we'll get on with it. It's the after dinner walk around and the bathroom's getting a lot more tiles in it. There's one hole there for a tap, they need to build another hole. It looks like that tap on the left looks like it's going to be right on a uh, joint. So that's not really convenient, but uh, well, there's a brace. Uh, yeah, let's see what else is done. So there's been quite a bit of rendering of the uh, east side of the wall. There's two of the four panels are done. Not, still not sure what's happening up higher, but I'll find out later. It's been quite a productive day over here today. I've got the welding finished on that column, and I've done that column. Uh, the crane bridge up there, the outer plates, uh, have now been welded comprehensively. Uh, lots and lots of bolts have been shortened, like you can see on the ones up here, the stick down below have all been ground off to a shorter length. Uh, as far as I can see, the only real standout one they missed is top one there and top one there, and they may come later. Uh, they could do the inner ones like they've already done the outer ones on these uh, the crane bridge but they could do the inner ones for neatness uh, yeah so it's thoroughly welded that's <laughs> gonna hold that together uh, the pits around is now welded so they'll do all the lower ones later uh, <coughs> we've done quite a bit on the electrics today I've got an earth wire here I haven't connected up yet, but I'll, I'll do that as the next thing in there. Uh, we've got the, the cables along here and then junction boxes and it goes across to, and drops. So all those power points are now wired, <coughs> as is the one in the centre. They're on the, the uh, south circuit. <coughs> Then on the north circuit, we have that one, which is my last one to do. Uh, and then those along that side. So all I've got to do is put one wire in there. I need a flat bladed screwdriver for that <coughs> of the right size. And my electrician screwdriver of the same type has been misplaced somewhere or other. Cannot find it. So I'll have to fake it. Uh, so that's to the stage where once that one's buttoned up uh, and that earth wire is connected, I will consider 
uh, plugging in the uh, house end and powering it up. I might do a few checks with the multimeter beforehand just to make sure everything's good. I, for, I forgot about uh, an additional one I've added up here to use at my last power point. I want one, one mounted low there because I want to put my air compressor under there. It'll make it a bit more convenient for working on this shelf. They wanted to try out my MIG welder so I brought that over today. <laughs> they like it a lot. So I'll probably run out a welding wire. And I managed to get the message through that I want uh, that screen mesh on the input to the tank and the lid as soon as possible. So I think I'm understood this time. So that's happening. And it looks like there might be more interesting weather around. So uh, it'll probably rain. That's morning walk around and the guys are still making progress in here. Now comes the refi refinement phase of... Uh, Doing the rendering at this end by the way. The guys have been doing more painting this morning and welding. This will be either a lid or a uh, backing for the stainless steel mesh for the tank input. I'll find out later, I guess. There's been lots of uh, grinding and spray painting and welding going on this morning. The guys are on a meal break at the moment. I've, uh, I've finalised that switch box, switch block there and its contents. And I've tightened down all the connections in here again and uh, put the lid on it. So after I have screwed this switch block on the wall and screw the switch into it. I will go over and connect power and see <laughs> if I manage to chuck any uh, breakers off. Well, you can see a nice bench in there. And then there's the uh, ongoing tiling. Here from the compressor, there's spray painting going on and there's tile grinding just about to start. This is the uh, lid for the roof uh, of the tank being created. Now the columns are being prettied up. And supplies have arrived. So there's piping I believe is uh, the back of Lizu's house. There's, there's water which is making life difficult for the people who are building a foundation over here. <laughs> Somebody's uh, building a foundation. They don't have a lot of money, so it'll probably be a foundation and that'll be it for now. And I'll come back and build more another time. But it's a bit wet there currently, as you can see. So we'll pipe the water away. I've done a fair bit of uh, painting today, so rather than have the painting ruined by the rain, it's under cover. some metal strips for around windows and things like that where the uh, polycarbonate's going on and for around the frame for the uh, water input and or lid. There's the frame for the lid for the uh, manhole so I suspect those two pieces out the side out there were the doors that fit on top of those. This is all good. Uh, my electrics are fully live now. The only thing remaining to be done on the uh, outlet circuits is one more light. The middle switch here turns on that light up there. And there'll be a corresponding one on this beam here, but um, there's more white paint coming. I'd like to get the white paint applied first the uh, switch here up to the out electrical circuit for the south side and it turned out that the driver for the UV tube said fault. So okay, I went and got this spare one, put it on the same tube and it said nah, I don't like that either. 
So then I went and got a spare tube, put that in there, and put the original uh, ballast on it, and it still said fault. I put the new one on it, it's all good. So at the moment, not a lot of point turning this on because there's no water for it to pump. But um, I've set the time on the timer and programmed it, and by rights it should be on currently, but I'm thinking maybe, maybe it has to go past the switch time, which is 6 a.m. So I'll come over and see if that red light's on tomorrow morning. But uh, yeah, I think we're uh, coming along nicely. I think some of those strips uh, that are painted in there are for around the around the edge of this. If we put, or when we put polycarbonate on this, there'll be uh, strips of uh, metal over it to secure it in place. And also along the, uh, the top up there, I imagine. And Jabita's watering her garden, lots of ginger. So, given the way everything else around here grows, I expect that to become ginger trees before long. It's the morning walk around and beautification of Columns continues and work on the plumbing continues. The bite has gone off for a wedding this morning, so I'm left to my own devices, which <laughs> always scares her. Um, so later today, uh, Dadding slash Ezra and I will remove that uh, white power cable that runs from the back of Ezra's house across to uh, Ezra's house across to uh, the shed since we no longer need that. Uh, what else has happened over there? And you can see the uh, USB LED light plugged in there. Uh, makes some nice little night light there at night time. You can see the front of the building. Um, so the music's uh, going to run into a uh, copyright strike unless I stop. So we have a plane that will sit on top of the uh, entrances with uh, doors and hinge on top. And it's just going to have a sheet of metal across that to uh, keep the light out so we don't get algae. One thing I didn't show yesterday is the fact that I've got this uh, set up at the moment. I'm waiting for a little uh, toggle switch so I can switch the output of that power supply between lighting up the left or the right uh, cage. At the moment, it lights up both, but perhaps not as brightly as it would if they were done individually. Now that we have a USB outlet live, uh, we can keep this thing powered without having to bring back battery packs periodically. The conditioning service guys have been here to uh, work on the, the lounge room AC, which is was not cooling as well as it should, so I've cleaned that. Uh, and uh, one of the bedrooms, as a matter of course. The only thing I've done today is uh, wire up this uh, tube. The idea is that this one can go down in the pit when somebody's working on the underside of the vehicle. More paints arrived, so more painting is going on. More, winding, you know, more welding and, drill, and grinding is still happening and uh, my Aldi drill press is <laughs> still getting worked out. It's the evening walkabout and you can see my uh, tube lit up over there. Let's see what else has happened. Oh, this is looking pretty good. So... I wonder now, is the hinge going to be on the west side or the uh, east side? I would suggest 
the west side so you approach the opening from the east but I probably won't be in control there's my input screen for the uh, the tank so I think the guys like that they've got a fridge under there now got a jug of water in that to keep it cool the other thing that Dazra and Dadang have done this afternoon is nailed clamps over all of the uh, electrical cables to make them tidy up to the roof the only one I'd take issue with is the black one as I actually had conduit to put over that to make it uh, white and they opted not to use that oh well, here's what it is that egg started fitting light sockets that socket and that socket will be uh, permanently powered because they will have uh, sensor bulbs in them and uh, they will just come in whenever they see movement the other thing they did was they put the covers on these uh, conduits which may make it a bit difficult to put the uh, lighting wiring in but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it uh, yeah so there's more paint to be done obviously on the the bits and pieces up there that'll happen with time getting the lid on the tank is the priority at the moment We've got the bulk of the west wall painted white now and she's painting the columns there I think paint paint down to the uh, the decoration line there and no further I think uh, nah well I'll figure it out tomorrow now we've got a bit more to do on the south end of the west wall now or west end um, I'm still inclined to have that tank painted black out of hot water and my automatic timer for the uh, UV and pump is working because it's currently a bit after five and that's supposed to be on until six and then turn off so it's all looking good um, when they put the lid and input screen on the tank uh, we'll have guys get in and uh, clean them out using the water that's in there and uh, then we'll close off the valves again and Hang on, what's up here? Ah, okay, so I need to put that out to Ezra. That uh, should be glued. Yeah, that's supposed to be attached. There was a bit of the foil stuff hanging down that I asked Azra to remove and he's done that and it uh, looks much neater now and we're watering the veggie patch again and this video is probably long enough for me to do another upload <laughs>